I am from Posh Coaching Center. Today, our topic is trigonometry. All right. So, we guys have just discussed in our earlier video that how to make the table of trigonometry and what exactly the trigonometric ratios are. So, we have six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, and cot theta. These are the six trigonometric ratios in which entire trigonometry will revolve. Right? So, one more thing you need to remember these are the short forms of the ratios. This is actually sine, S I N E. This is cosine. This is tangent. This is cosecant. This is secant. And this is cotangent. Alright? So now, we have already discussed about it what exactly this is. Now, we will go further and go for the first exercise, which is exercise number 8.1 plus. 10. Okay, so let's go to the first question and what it says. It says in triangle ABC, right angled at B. So we will make a triangle ABC and it automatically it says it is right angled at B. So you can put A either here or here, it's your wish. But the one thing that you need to make sure in case of trigonometry is there has to be a right angle triangle. If we don't have a right angle triangle, we cannot use trigonometry. Alright? So, you guys are comfortable with English? Everybody comfortable with English? Okay. So, it says right angle that B, AB is 24. So, we have AB 24 centimeter, BC is 7 centimeter. So what we need to find is, we will check that later, before going further, what we have to do is, whenever we are solving a trigonometric question, and whenever we have a triangle where we have two sides given, and one side is missing, so we need to search for the third one. And the third one is hypotenuse. And what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. That too, a right angled triangle. The longest side is always the hypotenuse. So we know, we'll say here, AB is equal to 24 centimeter. BC is equal to 7 centimeter. Now what we have to find? We have to find AC. We all know, since 8th standard, we have been talking about Pythagoras theorem. You, all, you guys all know what is Pythagoras theorem. So we will write it here. According to PGT, it means Pythagoras theorem. What it says? It says hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So hypotenuse, as we know, is the longest side. Base will be this one and perpendicular will be this one. So what we will do? Hypotenuse, we have no knowledge what it is right now. So we will put hypotenuse as AC square. Base, we have AB. Then we have perpendicular, which is BC square. Clear? All of you? All right. Now AC, we have no idea. AB is 24. Plus BC is 7. Is that clear? Then AC square is equal to 24. If we multiply 24 with 24, what we get? Five, seven, six centimeter square, and we know very well seven into seven it makes forty nine. Is that clear? You guys want to jot it down, write it down. If you guys want to write it down, 
you can, otherwise you can later make a note of it. So what we will do now, I will take the last line again, it is AC square is equal to 576 centimeter square plus 49 centimeter square. AC square, if we add 576 to 49, what we get? It is 625 centimeter square. Right? Now what we have to do is, we have to take AC here and this square will move that side, it becomes the root. Now, AC. If we see 25 into 25, what it becomes? 5 5 is a 25, 5 2 is a 10, 11, 12. 2 5 is a 10, 2 2 is a 4 1 5. 5 2 6. What it means? If we multiply 25 with 25, what we get is 625. What, why I am doing this? Because we know square and root, they get cancelled. So our root is over, so what we get is AC is equal to 25 centimeters. So, what was the last one? We were finding hypotenuse, we got it. So what it is? It is 25 centimeters square. Is that clear? No? But this was not the question. Our question is a different one. Now, what we have to find? We have to find sine A cos A sine C cos C. The very important thing what you need to understand here is first of all, I'm talking about the first one, we have to find sine A and then we have to find cos A. All of you know this. Sine, cos, tan, cosec, second, cot. These three we see upside down and this anti clock. So what we will see, we have to concentrate on this one. This is A. So this is the point or the vertex or the angle we are talking about. So when the angle is this, this becomes base, this becomes perpendicular and this becomes hypotenuse. So when I am talking about this, we know sin, cos line is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So A is this, perpendicular is BC upon hypotenuse is AC. BC is 7 and AC is 25. Is that clear? Similarly, cos A, angle is again the same. Cos means base upon hypotenuse. Base means AB. And hypotenuse again is AC. Base is 24 centimeter and hypotenuse is 25. We don't write centimeters here because we have centimeter up and down as well, so it's just over. So is that clear? So we get sine, we get cos using this one and we need to, what we have to see, where is the angle. So the angle was here, so then base was this one, perpendicular was this and the hypotenuse was this. Now, the second part, we have sine C and cos C, means the angle moves this side or this, the angle has changed and the place of the angle is this now. So now, sine C and cos C. When we are talking about this angle, the opposite side to this vertex or this angle becomes the perpendicular. When we are talking about this angle, opposite side was BC, that, the, that was the perpendicular. Now we are talking about this angle, so the opposite side will be AB. So sine, sine means perpendicular upon hypotenuse, which is well, now we are talking about sine C. So perpendicular becomes AB and hypotenuse always remains the same. Why? Because hypotenuse is the longest side. So AC. AB is 24 and AC is 25. 
Now we are talking about cos C. Cos becomes base upon hypotenuse. Base. Now we are talking about this angle. So this is perpendicular. This is anyways the longest side. So this is the hypotenuse. So base will be this one. So that is BC upon hypotenuse is AC, which makes it BC is 7 and AC is 25. That completes our question number one, and I hope everybody is fine with it and everybody is clear. Is that clear? Everybody? Cool. Thank you so much.